Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, the, about the crime rates uh, increase after the ban guns. Actually, I think statistics just uh, change from time to time because actually, gun is not the only cause, only reason cause the criminal rights to criminal rates to rise. And also, I also have some data uh, to prove that uh, cr crime rates decrease. Uh, since the national gun ban took place uh, at the Philippines, national, national wise, the crime rates across the country fell by 12%. So it, it just means that if we can, uh, we can ban the gun possession the nationally, then it will be helpful because uh, the crime rate actually decreased. But I guess different states have different kind of laws and different situations. So the statistics that we find is not really so is not really so trustworthy because uh, there are we should still have some other factors like demographic or the the economic situation that we should take into consider. Uh, as the New York Times editor say that. Uh, <coughs> Those stati statistics just prove nothing because uh, even though elementary school know that after it does not mean cause the reason causes. Yeah, it's the New York Times from Stephen G. Breer. Let's talk about that. And also uh, about the reducing crime by having guns. Uh, People, uh, I know you might think that uh, having guns can be used to against criminals, but actually having guns at home could cause a lot of problems at home too. We have a plenty of uh, evidence that a lot of uh, people who have guns at home actually cause a homicide by their spouse or by their, their intimate acquaintance. Because uh, According to the Violence Policy Center, having a gun at home makes it three times more likely that you, you or someone you care will be murdered. And also, twice as many women are sh were shot and killed by their husband or intimate acquaintance. Those are analyzes from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And of course, a firearm in the home also could be a key factor that <coughs> escalate the non-fatal spousal abuse to homicide. Because if we don't have guns, we cannot just shut our spouse. So mm -hmm. that's my argument. Uh, first, uh, we have to say that uh, we probably agree that the gun is not the only reason that causes a lot of murder. But uh, we have to keep in mind that it's not it's not gun, but a human being that causes crime. Uh, even if uh, the, the police, then can, they can, uh, we can ban the gun possession in order to reduce the crime rate. But we have to really educate people not to do those violence things to others. So, um, as you have uh, presents uh, the, the example in Philippines that uh, it really uh, the crime rate really reduced after they banned the gun uh, the, the gun possessions. However, I've got two uh, example in Great Britain and Australia that after these nations confiscated uh, all the private fi uh, firearms. Actually, the crime rate increased, both increased more than 5%. And also, the Washington DC's um, example also showed that the ban control, uh, the gun, uh, the ban, uh, the handgun ban actually cannot, uh, cannot uh, really uh, decrease, uh, reduce any crime rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but like what I say, uh, statistics doesn't mean the. Uh, doesn't mean the main cause because demography is different. Like yeah. Uh, from yeah, like uh, Australia and Philippines. Okay, let's say that the statistics don't mean anything. Then, do you have any evidence to show that a gun can lead to the, 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 the gun possession in the United States can lead to a higher crime rate? If not, why should we? Uh, why should we ban the gun control? Why should we use a lot of uh, time, money, and the police officers to do this? To do this meaningless thing. But we have, I'm sorry, but we have the uh, the statistic that show us that uh, keeping your gun in the home can be dangerous for your family, and we have a 90 more than 90 percent of uh, suicide attempts with a gun are deadly, and uh, teens in homes with fire uh, with guns are uh, uh, on a risk. Mm. Uh, all okay, time. then what about knives? Knives are 
are but yeah, knives but are knife. non fatal yeah. non fatal as gun because uh, guns can re because if you have to use knife you have to be really close and the close mm -hmm. distance but guns you can use it at a long distance it's different but it also is it can cause harm it can also make people dead okay if you want, if you mm -hmm. want to protect yourself mm -hmm. we can we can use something instead of guns we can use the paper spray or something like that mm -hmm. i think it's and it can defend yeah. themselves by knife because knife will re require a mm -hmm. close distance. Okay, and I think you mentioned one point that uh, criminals uh, that uh, when people uh, bear arms, they can sometimes provoke criminals to kill them. But actually, according to our statistics, that vulnerable people really can pr uh, pr protect themselves from being hurt. And actually, there's. Uh, 83 to 84 percent of the cases when the uh, victims uh, they encounter the criminals with arms and they can they can uh, they succeed in repelling criminals so I can say almost uh, almost 80 percent of the people of the victims they can successfully uh, run away from the uh, from the any um, can succeed uh, prevent any harms from the criminals so what do you think about this point you mean they can use gun to scare away the criminal? Yes. So you don't have statistics to, sh to show that uh, actually uh, the gun, bear gun, bearing gun can provoke the criminals. But we uh, have the statistics to show <coughs> that uh, the, the victims having, having guns can succeed in repelling criminals. Well, uh, as I know, uh, people are not allowed to carry guns on the streets. So the the situation you mean that maybe is uh, you have a guns at home mm -hmm. yes maybe a guns can repel the criminals but somehow a carrying a guns at home also make it an issue because uh, there are plenty of evidence show that uh, violence caused by home uh, mm -hmm. violence at home if you have a gun then you will probably become more deadly than than those are not and besides uh, uh, you can if uh, guns are so available at home. You have guns, and also the criminals can have guns. Actually, according to according to a according to a Joe Jackson, assistant attorney in Criminal Appeal Division for Mexico, he talked about uh, every attempt to increase the firepower of law-abiding citizens, increase the firepowers of criminals. What make you think that if you have guns, then criminals don't? Okay, and I think if you ban the gun possession in the United States, of course the ordinary people will hand in their guns. But what about the criminals? If they don't register their handguns and their names, they can still uh, keep their guns at home privately, and later, uh, or they can buy still buy guns from the black market or from the foreign <coughs> countries like Mexico. So actually, the gun, uh, the uh, handgun ban. Uh, just uh, just uh, makes ordinary people don't have the gun and criminals still have their own ways to get guns. It's unfair. Well, but actually it's talking about the high availability of the guns because if you are allowed to buy guns, they are more easily for them to get to have a guns. And because I think uh, if you just uh, ban the guns from state to state, it's easier for them to carry, carry the guns uh, over the over the states, but if we can ban the gun possession nationally, then it will be harder for them to carry guns. Yeah. And if we don't have guns at home, like what I say, because most most uh, criminals they got their, a lot of criminals they got their guns by theft and by stolen guns. So if ordinary people don't have so many guns at home, or don't they cannot uh, they cannot access to guns, and of course criminals their availability <coughs> of guns could be reduced. We can reduce to a certain degree, right? Uh, we can say, uh, in reality, uh, already lots of guns is in uh, existing USA, so that people have risk of involvement uh, with uh, crime by using guns, even now. So uh, under the situation, guns are, we think uh, guns are necessary for people to protect uh, themselves. We have to uh, talk about real society. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, if gun, uh, gun, gun. Gun possession was banned. Uh, the guns may may be used, but uh, I think it's an ideal theory. So in real society, uh, guns already ex uh, exist. Many guns. Yeah. So you have to see.
That's fine. Yeah. Ten minutes. Okay. If you if you see uh, that uh, guns shouldn't be banned, what do you think about the citizen and then non-citizens? Uh, mm -hmm. Do uh, what do you think that it's fair to have uh, people have a gun and others people ha having cannot have a gun? Mm -hmm. I think it's not safe uh, for them. Uh, Gun pollution have uh, effect because uh, people who uh, who are going to commit crime cannot understand the people uh, who want to attack have gun or not. So uh, I think uh, criminal can't uh, can't distinguish uh, this this people this person have gun or not. So, but uh, I think it is it have effect because. Uh, People, uh, criminal, think about this. Pe this person may have guns. I think it's enough. And also, I have to add. Uh, we have to add that um, the American gun laws have to protect the citizens first. Citizens benefit first. Um, there's the you, you mentioned the immigrants and there and other people from other countries. Uh, the law is not necessary to protect the people from <coughs> all over the world. We have to uh, we have to give the priority of the American safety first, and uh, given the situation that there's a lot of guns existing in the United States, um, we have to give the rights to the ordinary people to have guns to protect their own family and their the people they love. Yeah, but but what I say, uh, the people the people who have guns actually uh, they are. They're kind of accelerate the some uh, non-fatal spousal abuse to uh, to a uh, fatal cause, fatal death. Because if you don't have guns, then it could it could you can just uh, maybe it's non-fatal before, but if you have guns at home, it could easily hurt someone else. Mm -hmm. And if you don't use gun properly, it could cause the death. And uh, if people use guns, I don't. I don't think we need a lot of training on use gun on using gun. So, uh, I don't think uh, we have guns can make us become safer. Okay, I partially agree that the the gun need the people who 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 have gun need need a training because gun is quite dangerous in some kind of situation. We, uh, if the people do not pro properly use it. However, uh, automobiles are also difficult to use, and in <coughs> fact, each year roughly 43,000 people are killed in fatal car accidents. However, in 2007, the number of deaths caused by firearms is only 12,000, roughly. So what do you think about this? If you think that the gun possession can cause a lot of mur uh, murder, uh, then what about the automobile use? Do you need to uh, stop using cars? In order to uh, stop people from hurt by the car accident, it's not it's nonsense. But we cannot uh, uh, yes. we cannot uh, take something uh, instead of cars or something like that. But we can we can use something instead of guns. Why? What's the difference? It's not well, that necessary. I think uh, using gun is uh, is uh, like you say it's, it's our right to protect. It's a citizen's right. <coughs> But a car accident is not intentional. It not, it's not intended. But if you have gun, you kill someone. That's intent. That's intended. And if you use gun, it's kill someone else. But a car accident is about yourself. You cannot. You cannot. Uh, you can not uh, diminish others' rights by using guns. But if you have a car accident, that's about yourself. It's not about others. Right. And you can't go anywhere. Uh, you cannot go anywhere by others' car or by if, as a free. But police could uh, should uh, carrying or uh, protect the people as free. Okay. Uh, we just want to show that there's no direct relationship between the gun possession and the crime rate. And. Uh, also, uh, you said gun should hold by uh, should be held by police because police can <coughs> use proper way. But uh, do you think when uh, we are about to be attacked from someone, police can protect ourselves on that times? 
Well, I think we police can't uh, protect them all all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, on that time, gun is very uh, useful way to protect ourselves. Well, uh, five minutes. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, you don't have to. You don't necessarily to have a gun can protect yourself. You can use like a, a paper spray, like I say, or you can use other terrifying weapon. It's not necessary to be gun because. Uh, <coughs> Even if you have a gun, like I say, uh, when you get nervous and when you get nervous, uh, when you come from a criminal, mm -hmm. is it true that you can use it properly not to hurt yourself, or is it true that the criminals wouldn't take away your guns and use it against you? So I think, uh, so I don't think carrying a gun is uh, can protect you the most. And besides, police is police duties to protect protect ordinary people's life, of course, of course. And I agree with you that. Uh, Police cannot be on there, cannot be there all the time. But I think uh, we can, uh, if we come from with the criminals, I think the best policy for us is to is to run. Actually, according to uh, the hang on, hang gun in control ink chief man Pete Schultz, he say that in, he wrote that in his his book. When confronted by violence criminal, you should put up no defense, give them what they want, or run. Because most of people, I think. If we come from a criminal, we wouldn't want to provoke him to murder us. If you, he wants something, then we'll just give him something. Not, <coughs> it's not necessary to risk our life for, for money or for your wallet, right? Okay, then we have to, uh, we have to say that in order to, uh, our main purpose to ban, if you want to ban the gun, is to want to make America a safer environment. However, we can achieve this through other easy, more uh, easier way. For example, um, there's a successful example in uh, Richmond, Virginia, that they had a project exile, that if there's a felony caught with a gun, then that person will go to jail for five years. And this, this simple plan just uh, uh, reduced, uh, reduced the crime rate uh, by 50% in just one year. And also, uh, I think, uh, we think that uh, according to Joe's 2008, there are at least 10 states, inclu including Massachusetts and Pennsylvania, haven't compelled to provide FBI with a name list of mentally ill people, which means that mentally ill people can easily get a gun. Then, if we can uh, have a stricter, stricter background check when people want to buy guns, then we can easily uh, prevent those uh, people that um, that not suitable for, for, for bearing a gun. Uh, and uh, probably cause some some trouble later. And these two things that can be easily uh, easily do, uh, easily done by the police officers and can can create uh, can create a greater effect. Uh, Not necessarily to ban the guns national national wide. Yeah, but two minutes. Yeah, but uh, they they cannot get the guns from the gun stores because of the background check, but actually they can still get it easily from illegal markets if the guns are available all the, all the way. Yeah. Then why we need to ban guns? They can still get it from other way. Uh, like I said, it's uh, decrease the availability of mm -hmm. guns. We, if, all is, if all the guns are banned nationally, is we can decrease the volume of guns available. But if you don't ban them, they can get uh, guns easily from the gun stores. Then they can they can buy it from illegal market, pretty first easier to too. First point. And then then come to to our first point. It really costs a lot of money to to control the to to con to pr uh, to ban all the guns in the United States. Um, it's really impractical. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, it's your uh, your statement is the uh, is. Uh, it costs a lot to have a gun control, right? Yeah. But if you ban all the guns, gun, gun control, uh, in, if and you have to just means that to ban all the, all the guns. Is to ban all the guns or just yeah. ban to to, to change control. the law is to change the law is kind of easy, but if you want to really to make the, this law to be effective, it really costs a lot of money, time, and also the the force. Well, yeah, of course. At first, uh, it will cost a lot of. Time and money to do so. Step, step. I think it's step by step, right? And then after two years, three years. But I think it's it will be more safety for people who will be in the in the future life. You know, 
And yeah, I also you, think I also think that people's life cannot measure with the money or the budget. I think we should put a uh, people's benefit at first over over all the money or budget. And at first, of course, uh, it costs a lot of money and time to do so. But afterwards, if all the guns are banned from the countries, it will be very easier for later on. Okay, time.